I'm, I'm throwing you into the deep end. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't even know what episode it is anymore. We have the car on the lift here at Carson Performance. It is Saturday, the Saturday before, round three of BDC. Yep. Round one for you. Round one for me. <laughs> oh, well, f- fingers crossed, hopefully. So, today we are going to be doing a lot of stuff. Um, uh, Simon's already done an awful lot of stuff uh, to the car. Um, I'm about to do some stuff, which normally means stuff goes on fire, but I'm going to try. There is plenty of fire extinguishers here. Um, what have you been doing this morning? Uh, so I've changed all the rear handbrake shoes for the Project Moo ones and put the Mintex Racing brake pads in the rear as well. I'm um, going to be fitting up the front calipers, but first I'm just changing the coilovers because those ones are shit, to yeah. technically. And these ones are better. So <laughs> we fit these, might swap the top mounts over because that one does have a bit of play in it. Yeah. Not ideal, so hopefully that's better. I'll put those on here, fit those up, get the brakes on, move on to the next bit. Perfect. And we will check in as we go along. Um, we've also fitted um, the discs um, in the front, um, which are ones I got from Mintex back in the day for the 249SX. I'm going to be fiddling around with the seats today to get the seating position. We've got the brand new full welding cage done. The guys here have fitted the new uh, Pro Series um, Corbo seats. I'm saying um, um, a lot. I More than usual. Well, I do like talking normally. It's just a non camera. I just talk like that. I just say um all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and stop doing that. Um, so, oh God, I literally started with it. So I am going, every time I do, I'm going to slap myself. I'm going to find the correct seating position for myself. Uh, what I'm, oh God, stop saying, um, what I'm going to be doing right now is we have, uh, the steering wheel that the car came with, which is terrible. Um, an OMP steering wheel. I have a brand new from Scott and the gang at Grip Royal in the States signature um peden steering wheel which is the king 350 mil in red suede this year we're going to be running the same in the 249sx so we've got two of these and as always the guys um laser etched their logos in the back for me as well so when we run a gopro uh, behind the steering wheel we will be able to see the logos uh, they obviously always come up with all the hardware so i'll be swapping these over to the quick release today and then getting them in. This morning I was also at, um, I need to stop saying um, but I'm gonna leave them all in there for your delight. Uh, I was at, um, oh Christ. <laughs> you should have an outtake at the end, you just go, um, um, Yeah, I should like do. Extra. That would be a full episode. I was at uh, Garage D this morning, first thing, collecting a diff. Uh, we're running a 41 welded diff because that's what I've always ran and I just I like it uh, we've got some jab speed arms in already uh, we've got some stronger shafts to go in as well and then we made a major order yesterday for all the safety equipment uh, so we have next week coming the electrical plumbed in fire suppression system electrical uh, kill switch system we have the handheld fire extinguisher coming as well we also ordered, now I run Signova tires in the rear for the first time ever. I've never actually even driven them yet, but on the front, I've always used Max Sport. So we ordered a pair of soft compound Max Sport. Uh, we're running 17 front, 18 rear staggered setup, as I always do. And hopefully we'll get some stuff in next week. So let's check back in in a while with a list and see where we are. Yeah. So we're a little bit later on in the day, we're kind of early afternoon. Um, not really the... I arrived and basically stopped all progress, um, which is what I normally do. We've had a bit of an issue. I don't fit in the car, which is a bit of an issue. Not fitting in the car, bit of an issue. Yeah, you're too big for it. Maybe I'm too, get a bigger car. Maybe we should get a bigger car. Is it too late to buy a car and, and finish that for... Yeah, it is, I think. So essentially, long story short, the, the seat mounts that were in, um, we thought were going to be okay or not okay. I simply sit, um, I don't fit. I sit wrong. It doesn't feel comfortable. And whilst we have a difficult enough task as it is with, you know, 400-ish horsepower um, up against, you know, the likes of McKeever and... 
and Kevin and all the boys, it's, it's going to be a bit of a, um, a bit of a struggle. So the only thing that I really want to make sure that we have done, on top of all the other things, of course, but from my perspective, is I need to be comfortable when I sit in the car. So we've cut out the um, seat brackets that are in that should never have stayed in. We're remounting it with the, um, a new seat bracket, actually, the Corbeau do, which is quite cool. Um, it is very, very adjustable. Um, if I can try and show you, I'll show you afterwards in more detail. There's a lot of adjustability, basically, which is really, really cool. So we now need to make that work. Um, weld some plates in underneath the car and mount the seat directly to the floor, which is what I normally always do because I literally sit on the floor. Um, so we're trying to make that safe now. We found a position that works, which is as far back as we can go. Um, and as the cage will allow us, essentially. Uh, and uh, yeah, we will get back to you shortly. On plus side, I have mounted the steering wheel. Needs a bit of tweaking, of course, I did it. So, um, but other than that, we are now attacking the seat. So as it's getting a bit darker, we're still faffing with this. Well, uh, we were, we are not. Um, Simon is uh, and is doing an amazing job, but it has literally just sucked the day away. Sucked the day away. Can I say sucked the day away? Uh, I mean, once I'm not implying that either of us have been sucking, then that, <laughs> I think that's okay. <laughs> what a what an absolute disaster of a day. I mean, of all the stuff that we really need to get done today just we haven't um so it is saturday i i'm going to call back down monday morning get everything well make sure that this, the seat is ever, are all right the guys are going to attack it again monday morning to try and get some of the stuff done that we wanted to get done today and so we will resume again in two days time in three two one so it is now monday and i am driving down to sarai sarai Sorry. Down to Carson Performance. I'm still saying um because it's just what I do. And do you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with ums. So um, I actually had a message from Simon yesterday, which made me quite angry. Um, so Carson Performance is not open on a Saturday yet. We spent all day Saturday there. It was it was a disaster. Um, but at the same time, to be honest with you. For me, it is what good craftsmanship and honestly what drifting is about to me. So I'm not mechanically minded whatsoever. I mean, at all. I know what things look like and what most things do. And that's it. I'm just not good at it. It's not my thing. And also, I'm okay with that. Um, Carson uh, was... Simon was... Um, in all day yesterday and didn't tell me catching up on the list uh, of stuff that we were meant to get done on Saturday and that's just mental to me I mean absolutely mental Simon has a um, a young family um, well a young family I don't know what age his missus is but um, I'm sure she's not very old so I don't, where am I going with this as a beautiful a little boy um, I don't even know is he a month old yet at this stage and yet here he is on a Saturday and on a Sunday working his absolute ass off to get my car ready for something that I don't even know do I want to do to be honest with you so I'm driving down to Surrey now to Carson Performance to see uh, what's up I have a list of stuff I need to order we still are ordering stuff this is literally days before the event um, small little things like LED brake lights, stuff like that. Um, we have all the other stuff ordered. We think I think we pretty much have everything there. Uh, the last thing I need to desperately organise is uh, in the world of logistics. Um, so how we actually get the car there. My ideal plan was to actually drive the car there, but for that I need to also try and get the car into um, an MOT centre to get an MOT. It's taxed. It's it's insured. Uh, I just need an MOT so we can drive it legally. And uh, and that's that. So I'll catch you up in a few minutes. I'm going to get uh, Simon a very large coffee from Starbucks as I drive down. 
This is my first time, I messaged him this morning saying, this is my first time driving down without using sat-nav. If you know me at all, you will know that I get lost in a biscuit tin. Uh, and I spend a lot of time in biscuit tins. Uh, so I'm driving down, I'm gonna see, I mean, I've driven this road from London down to Surrey now, I mean, I, a lot of times now at this stage. And um, it's actually a funny story, not funny at all, interesting story. Um, Carson Performance was the first place that I stopped at when I moved to England last year. The first place. Uh, and I used SatNav that time. Um, and I probably will have to as well today. So, look, let's drive on. Let's get there. And, uh, and let's see where we're at. Um, my ideal position to be in in a couple of hours time is to have everything ordered um, and uh, to make sure that I fit in the car so I brought my helmet I brought my hands device I'm gonna make sure look it is what it is at this stage um, we're not gonna get the car map this week it's not there's not enough time so I have to hope that everything is gonna be okay um, and uh, and we'll see and so the major weak points are we don't know how to get the car there if the car does get it there it's at the moment running uh, a standard SR20 gearbox, which we all know is made of butter. And uh, and the map, I'm, I'm, a, I'm very nervous, I'm afraid of, of the map. We just don't know, supposedly it's mapped, and, and I believe that, but we don't, we don't know. I also very much don't like the fact that it doesn't start. Uh, that really, really pisses me off. So um, look, let's, let's see how we get on. Let's see if I make it in the first place. And I will catch you at Carson Performance. So now back here in Carson Simon, you absolute animal for an idiot for being here yesterday. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> That's a bit, it's a bit harsh. So we've got a bootful cardboard, and we have um, a plan of action. We're still waiting on a lot of parts. So we're still waiting on a few parts, yeah. But now with the delays of the seat putting us back on Saturday, catching up yesterday means that we're back on track, which is good. So it's taking some of the pressure off us. So I think we're, we're, going, we're going to be all right. Yeah. We found out that the calipers, the, the great dilemma of these bloody discs that I've had for the uh, 249SX also, well, they fit on the car physically, but the calipers that we now have uh, don't work with them because no, there's a 32 can't. and I think the discs are for R33 GTST. So we are going to try and get, well, I'm going to try and get some different calipers today if I can. Um, and other than that, we're trying to figure out logistics, as I said, on the way down and um, figure out what we do. New starter motor is in, slightly different starter motor, so hopefully that'll be a little bit more powerful. Battery and everything else should hopefully arrive tomorrow, maybe, or maybe Wednesday. Possibly, yeah, they said Tuesday slash Wednesday, so yeah. fingers crossed for tomorrow, if not Wednesday. But we can get all the other boxes ticked off, everything else needs doing in the meantime. Yeah. So that would be... Um, that's okay, it's not gonna cause too much delay. Exactly, and then my duty today basically is to try and make this look a little bit more pretty. Uh, so I'm going to rob a load of, um, Carson, don't tell him. I'm gonna take a, shh. I'm gonna take a lot of Carson performance um, stickers and I'm gonna put it on the car, which is, I think now we can officially say this is not, it's not purple, it is blue. So um, Carson stickers are blue and white, therefore it'll work a treat. So um, yeah, we'll catch back up again in a little while and, um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm very enthusiastic and excited about this. <laughs> so the day is finished, and it was, a, it was a good day. It was a good day. I didn't get on it too late, so we didn't get much done. But we got important stuff got done. Got important done. The measurements are done, so now it's a case of just making plates and welding them in, which is simple. Yeah, exactly. And so we'll have the Corbo seat in um, probably early tomorrow, all going well. And I will be back down here again. Wednesday, because tomorrow I have my dentist appointment, which is going to be great. Check up or two thousand? No, just check up, uh, and then probably followed by two thousand. Two thousand, yeah. <laughs> or more. So the car is looking swanky. Big uh, shift. Uh, well, How well, fancy? Well, it's bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we will be back here again midweek, and then hopefully we will have it. There's so much stuff arriving in the next few days, so. Um, the guys here at Carson will have their hands full and then we must organise some sort of transport. We're trying to get Toby to do it, but sounds like he's not going to do it. Busy man. A busy man. Uh, so he says anyway, so um, catch you midweek. What? What killjoy? Comes in here, turns up the fucking music, doesn't do anything all day, then comes back and does it again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
doesn't even turn up at the Starbucks. Oh, oh hi, mate. <laughs> it is, wait, is it Wednesday or Thursday? It's when, Thursday. Thursday. Oh, it's Thursday. It is D-Day and it is 10 to 5 in the evening. And um, it is, it is it. We've missed an awful lot of stuff. I haven't really been filming all this stuff, but we've done an awful lot. I filmed a little bit this morning. You can Did you? Yeah. I probably won't use it, but. <laughs> no, don't. We're so close. So the car now actually starts. Um, the guys here at Carson Performance have done an amazing job, as well as. You haven't driven it yet, don't say. Well, we haven't actually. <laughs> I haven't even sat in the car. Actually, Jamie has sat in the car before I have. Yeah, I'm, I'm driving now. You're, yeah, well, you fit in it, so that's yeah. okay. Yeah. You, you do a hell of a lot better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> um, the uh, recovery has arrived with the car, uh, or not with the car, with. Um, transportation for us and um, without him we wouldn't be able to do it so you know it's all down to GE autos at this stage here so they're gonna safely transport the car for us to Teesside tonight ahead of practice tomorrow morning so quick little clip I will talk you through in the next video exactly what we've done and um, hopefully show you a little bit of drifting but for now the car is, I mean, all the stuff we've done, you can't even see it bar maybe the wheels, but it is running and it is sweet. Thank you for watching. Please like, please comment below and subscribe if you want to. See you at Teesside for BDC round three.